Hi, my name's Mika. I run a small organic market garden in Brisbane City and I use a blended product of pelagonite and compost as my fertility. Um, we're here today talking with Anthony Bauer who runs Queensland's largest organic farm. Uh, he uses pelagonite on his fields, blended with compost as well, and he's had great results. So first of all, we'd just like to know a bit about your farm here. How long have you been growing? Uh, what methods are you using? And okay, so we're a fully um, certified organic farm, been certified for 25 years um, in the Lockyer Valley here, which is uh, renowned for rich soils as well. Um, in the last three years, um, we've started to use pelagonite. Um, and we've seen some um, really impressive results. Uh, so we are aware that you've done a trial of pelagonite and compost on a crop of ginger. Yes. And we wanted to know what the results were of that. Yes, um, that, that, that area we trialled that combination on, we received a 50% increase in, um, in yield yeah. on that ginger crop. Yeah. Uh, quite amazing. And what was the quality of the ginger like? Um, larger rhizomes, um, yeah, beautiful, really good quality ginger. Yeah. And the quality was amazing. Yeah. Uh, so would you recommend pelagonite uh, to other farmers? Yeah, definitely would. Uh, absolutely. I think everyone should be um, having at least a look at it and, and trying it into their farming systems. Yep. Yes, for sure. So what sort of damage do synthetic fertilisers do to farmland? Yeah, look, they, um, <clears throat> they destroy the soil structure. Um, they kill the microbes, the worms, the... Um, the good fungi, the bacteria in the soil, yep. it, becomes a, it becomes a dead. With organic systems, we, we try and, everything we do is a positive in, in mm. impact, so it's in, enhancing life. So, plaganite certainly um, enhances life, it, and the microbes actually um, enjoy feeding on it. It's yep. um, part yep. of their, you know, what they need yeah, to, to live so on. So, it's, the soil yes, like, it yeah, does. Yeah. It's a food source for the microbes. Yeah, so, absolutely. it's a. Yeah. And that's it, probably a, how it speeds up the composting process as so. well, right? Yeah. Yeah. The soil structure is amazing. And that's a that's a black clay soil. And yeah. It's just falling falling apart like that. Yeah. It? What was it like when you started? This was a conventional farm. Yeah. And um, it was just like cement. Yeah. Right. Really, and an actual grower had walked off. He couldn't farm anymore, and it was really? it was failing. The system had failed. The calcium magnesium ratio in these soils are uh, it's meant to be three to one calcium to magnesium. This this soil is one to the other way around. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. But if and that's what makes the the, the, the dirt stick together. Yeah. But this is just since the introduction of the pelagonite is just breaking apart. Yeah. So these carrots are um, ready to go, harvest next week. Good colour and, and plenty of flavour, they're very sweet. Mm. So yeah. Good healthy strong tops on them, um, which is ideal for mechanical harvesting, you don't want those to break off. But basically, yeah, it's, it's all about the soil yeah. and pelagonite's a big part of it. Yeah. And the soil's right, the plant's right, mm. it works. Well thanks a lot Anthony, it's been good talking to no you. No worries, today. thank you, pleasure. Yeah.